absolute honor to be here and with distinguished folks that are in the room. I'm, I'm born and raised in New York, a New York Jew, and if you know anything about Judaism in New York, when a young man gets circumcised at eight days old, he also becomes a Democrat. Um, I'm not aware of that, but that is part of the birthright. Um, but I'm not out, I've been in Indiana since 1991, and I'm just, uh, I, I, the Jewish word that I want to use is kvelling. Kvelling means when you're overcome with joy and happiness for what other people are doing, and the fact that you young men and women are sitting in this room right now, when you're doing a million other things, including doing nothing and sitting in your room just watching TV, is overwhelming to me, and I, I just cannot say enough how proud I am of each and every one of you, regardless of what your political slant may be. Um, Casey mentioned that uh, there is an election coming up in a few weeks. Um, here's the 30-second commercial that I give to people that usually kind of inspires them to take action. Right now, our city council is eight Democrats and one Republican. The lone Republican is stepping down. There's a very good chance, if we don't get mobilized and, 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 and get our foot soldiers on the ground, that neither Casey nor I will win. If that happens, we're looking at a 9 nothing shutout for the next four years in city council. And that's a pretty scary proposition, even for folks that I speak to on the far left. When I say that to them, it's usually enough to say, you know what, I need diversity, I want to have debate, I want to have conversation, I want to have discourse, and that alone is usually enough to get them going. Um, the difference between Casey and I, Casey's a little bit of a disadvantage in this room, because he's running in a specific district. Most of you probably do not live in Casey's district. And Casey, am I correct about that? That's uh, not entirely true, but it's more than likely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that doesn't mean, obviously, I want you to support and get the word out. That's right. I'm running at large. And so the big takeaway here is every one of you guys, if you're so inclined, can vote for me. And I'm real quickly going to tell you why I'm hoping you can. Number one, the, city, the students in this community have zero voice on city council. The city council, to me, they love having the university. They love going to tea parties and saying, and I don't mean our tea party, but they like going to parties and saying, oh, I represent Indiana University. But oh, those students, oh, those students, okay? I want to represent the students. I love having you here. A couple of my platforms, number one, I'm very big on medical amnesty. You might be familiar with that. Purdue just passed it. That means if somebody is overdosing or in a lot of trouble, you can call the cops and you don't have to be afraid about getting arrested. They're going to save your friend. That's number one. Number two, you need a voice on council. Every three months, every six months, I will gladly meet with your organization. I'll sit down with Connor. I know you're trying to get me up the floor. Pizza's almost here. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> okay good. Um, I want to be your voice on council. The only promise I can make you is that the same shenanigans that go on now will still go on, but at least you'll have a voice of somebody to turn to. Whereas right now you don't, and if it's not <coughs> nothing come no November 9th, you're not going to have anybody for four years. All right. So I really need your help. I'd love to meet each one of you individually. I'm available at the store. I'm almost always there. I see a lot of familiar faces out there. Um, is there time for maybe a question or two? Sure. Is there anybody? Have a, is there any question or anybody, any thoughts, comments, ideas? How right, can we help you? All right. Question. Thank you. How can we help you? How can? Well, obviously, I, a. How many of you are not registered yet to vote? Because you'd have to do that by October 11th. Who is not registered? All right. So first and foremost, we've got to get registered. Because after, thank you very much for the question. After October 11th, it's too late. Now, obviously, you can still help me, but I need everybody to be registered. And then. When you go in to vote, and this is real important, thank you for that question. I'm running at large. What does that mean? That means the top three vote getters out of five candidates get, get in. If you go into that ballot and you say, you know what, that guy Ed seems pretty decent, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him a shot. But if you vote for me and two other candidates, it's like a horse race, you're moving everybody forward at the same time. So what I need you to do is not just vote for me, but only vote <laughs> for me. That was God telling you to vote for Ed. Pyrotechnics. Oh, vote for me. Do you understand the difference there? If you vote for me and two others, you move all three of us ahead. If you just vote for me, then I move ahead. Yes, question. Um, are the other, will the four other options be all Democrats? There is, thank you, the three, the three incumbents are three Democrats. The only other person running is also a Republican. Mm -hmm. But again, I am encouraging you to only vote for me. <laughs> All right, then I'll change it. I challenge you to only vote for people you know. Only vote for people you know. What is your name? Fred. Fred Edgeworth, it's been nice to meet you. Only vote for people.